see the current Canadian light welterweight champion amateur class. And right off the top, look at this. Anderson goes to the aggressiveness. And we have a, a caution right off the top. This one is a war. There's no two ways about it. Anderson on the right side of your screen now. They have fought twice before, and Hoyt has won both of them. Anderson, a recent silver medalist in world competition, yet Hoyt is the Canadian champ in this weight class in Canadian amateur boxing. A bit of a grudge match here, and it's rather unfortunate that both are meeting in the semifinal and not in the final, but that's the luck of the draw. So just 40 seconds into the first round, you can see right away, this is going to be a darn interesting fight and very close. And we have another caution to Ricky Anderson. That may cost him two cautions within the first minute of this round. And perhaps with the hometown crowd, Anderson is just a little keyed up. Back. This promises to be a real beautiful fight. The hometown crowd, of course, is Anderson all psyched up. Hoyt uh, would like to make it three in a row over Anderson. The winner of this fight will likely represent Canada at the Olympics if we do send a team. Regardless, we will still compete in international competition, and that's very important to these two fighters. Welterweight fighters both tipping the scales at 139 pounds. Well, okay, we have one minute to go, and this is the first round. No question about it. The people that have assembled here have done so to see this fight. Now Anderson being able to cut the ring off. We'll see if Hoyt can get out of this. Anderson comes through, but the punch really doesn't do a lot of damage, and he backs him right into the ropes. Now, watch what happens when Hoyt's on the ropes. See if Anderson can keep him there and what damage he can do. He gets out of it. A smile at times appears on Hoyt's face. And Hoyt himself comes through the left. To the final 15 seconds of this, the first round. And this should do it for round one. Starts. Ricky Anderson comes out of the left side of your screen. And uh, both fighters are going to go to the offensive here. They will hold nothing back. They will not pace themselves. They will go full blitz for three rounds because that's the type of fighters these fellows are. Anderson with a good combination. Oh, excellent by Anderson. Backing him off, but White fights back. Hoyt getting Anderson into the ropes, but Anderson wisely gets out of that. Nobody wants to be on the ropes in the fight. And we have points deducted from Ricky Anderson. This could well decide the fight because it's going to be scored very closely. So perhaps Ricky Anderson will have to open up now. He certainly can't afford to have any more points taken off him. fighting here by both boxers. Credit to the sport. And a good left by Anderson. 
Anderson straightened out Hoyt, but Hoyt comes back. Hoyt is absorbing some good punches here. We have one minute still to go in this is the second round. If this is any indication the third round should be a beaut. And we have another caution. The fans don't like it. Is Anderson in on the ropes and they turn around out of that Anderson but turns the minus into a plus gets out of that one. So a very entertaining fight to date. We have 30 seconds left to go on this the second round. of round two. Watch the action. This promises to be a very interesting round of boxing here. Ricky Anderson on the left side of your screen. And Derek Hoyt from BC is opposition. We have a question. We have points. This is a warning. Points are taken off Hoyt. And so this makes the scoring that much more closer because the same thing happened to Anderson in round two. Now Anderson in on the ropes. He wisely gets out of that. Now both fighters toe to toe boxing. This one is going to be very close. the third round. We have two minutes to go in this fight. The fans behind Ricky Anderson obviously because this is where he's from. Derek Hoyt from BC has some support also. Point in trouble on the ropes. He gets out of it. Good boxing, good aggressive boxing here. They both appear to be tiring just a little bit. They still have a lot of fight left in them. Look at Hoyt come back. Now Anderson, Anderson reads with the left. He reads with the left again and shoots the right in there. That left is really doing some work. This could be it for Derek Hoyt. He's tired. Hoyt is a tired fighter. We have a minute to go in this fight. It's a question of can Anderson finish him off because Hoyt is tired. Now Anderson moving in. He's got 40 seconds left to do something here. Now perhaps he's just a little tired. Oh, Hoyt is almost completely tired out on his feet. A bit of a smile there. Well, he's all but out on his feet. He's tired, exhausted. Look at him. Anderson had a bit more strength than him. He could put him away. We're into the final 15 seconds of this. This is the third round. Now look at Anderson go. He's still tired, though. He puts on a bit of an alley shuffle. He's tired, but look at Anderson. The final seconds of round three. This is it.
are getting set for the decision. Bye, Astor. 